Hello? Saturn Prince reporting for Zombie News. <laughs> I was sleepwalking too, man. I didn't even know who I was till 15 years ago. The gang saw if you knew though. They tried to claim they didn't know who I was. Yes, you did. So why did you molest me? They knew. Ever since I was a little kid, terrorized me. Crumbs. All right, this is Avenues of Redemption. Okay, it's too much information. There's too many avenues of redemption. So I'm just going to focus on one avenue of redemption. But it's going to encompass a lot of people. Remember I said, I'll bring many over to the correct side of righteousness. Okay, in this effort, we're going to bring many over to the correct side of righteousness. We. There's no I in team. It's we. We have to do it together. Let me say something else. If you're a human and you're in physical form, then you fell from spirit form or what church people would say is you fell from grace. So we all fell from grace if you're human. If you're a hybrid, then you're just here to exploit us. All right. So, if you're human, then we're all on the same team, okay? So, it doesn't matter if you say I'm saying this, church person, whoever you say you are. Are you human? Are you in physical form? Then we're all on the same team, all right? That's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. So, let's get that straight right off the bat. For all you people who think you're mightier than, higher, holier than now, better than the next person. All right, let's get down to business. This is Avenues of Redemption. We're going to focus on the drugs. All right. These entities that bring the drugs into America, of which... These very entities, I myself have been in their employ in the past, so as I could find compassion for those who rely on this income to support their families, these importing entities, if they wish to pursue redemption and achieve salvation, are responsible to continue to support those who distribute those substances among the cities of America with comparable wealth and living wage. This support must be substantial enough to be able to be distributed among the smaller organizations who purvey these products at street level. In this way, redemption is distributed just as the substances themselves. In this effort of redemption, fully able to be observed and measured by me, as even now my ties to these street-level organizations are of and amongst the new members of the covenant which I have established, it is for this in which you may confidently find confirmation of my own personal state of righteousness and honesty as to my word is solid and admirable. All right. So, any leader, pay attention, Donald Trump. Okay, you're going to be president. You want to change the world? You want to do something good? You want to be part of uh, something good? Alright. Seeing as how you're all buddy-buddy with all the military people, 
And the military is responsible for bringing the drugs into the country, quite obviously. Okay. The, the, this myth that the Mexicans bring the drugs into the country through little tunnels and uh, a little pack on their back and across the Rio Grande River. Okay. That's just a show. Okay. That's just a, uh, just a show. It's just a distraction from who's really bringing the drugs into the country. All right. You military people watch this, you know I'm right, okay? You know you're a part of it, all right? Uh, the CIA was made to be a scapegoat, okay? Because we know that when spaceships crash, what do they do? They fly right over there, and they screw up the spaceship and all the poor aliens that are stuck in there, whatever, and then they torment them and dissect them and imprison them or whatever they do. And then, uh, so the public does not become aware of the spaceships that crash and whatever, whatever. Okay, so there's no reason, it's illogical that a plane full of cocaine that was flown by the CIA would be able to be photographed by the media or have anybody have any idea that it even crashed in the first place, okay? So that's just a show, just a distraction to uh, villainize the CIA, all right? They may, some rogue entities of CIA may be involved with, with the importing of drugs, and uh, obviously not the entire military is aware of the import of drugs that uh, the efforts of military entities to bring these drugs in because we know that everything is compartmentalized so the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing and so that that's the case, you know. So just because you're a general in the military does not mean that you're aware of what it how exactly the drugs are coming into the country or, you know, this, all this information. Okay. It's only, everything's compartmentalized. So we know that there's underground trains that go all over. We know there's trains that go underneath the ocean. We know that there's all kinds of ways to bring the drugs into the country. We know that cocaine is manufactured on, on the moon, the real moon, not the fake one that we see. Uh, we know all this shit already. Okay. So most likely NASA plays some role in the importing of drugs as well, I would imagine. But we don't aspire to assumption, okay? So, Donald Trump, you want to be a leader? You want to uh, achieve redemption? You want to be a part of bringing many people over the correct side of righteousness? Well, this is what you do. Okay, you're going to make investigation. You're going to get the, your military buddies together. You guys are going to make an internal investigation. You're going to find out exactly how the drugs are getting into the country, where they're coming from, and exactly which branch of the military is responsible for bringing them into the country. All right? That's what you're going to do. Now, once you find out who is responsible, you're going to put a stop to it. All right? Now, as I... Uh, may be a part of something that, you know, plays a role in the distribution of drugs at the lower level. Uh, obviously not now I am because I'm in La La Land in the middle of nowhere and I'm not anywhere. I have nothing to do with nothing at this point, you know. But in the past, yeah. And the entities that were are involved with... Uh, some distribution of drugs at street level are encompassed within the new covenant that I established because I made a covenant with these people, okay? So, my word is my word, all right? Now, what are we going to do, okay? So, you're going to go around, military, your military buddies, and you, whatever, you're going to make investigation, you're going to put a stop to the drugs coming into the country, okay? The amount of drugs that Mexicans and whatever the cartels bring into the country, uh, that, that's just a show, it's just a distraction, and yes, the cartels are probably involved with the military, obviously, at the higher levels, of course. Uh, okay, so this is what's got to happen. Now, yes, some people sell drugs to support their habit, but the, I, the whole idea of selling drugs is to support your family, support yourself, support your lifestyle, and to 
uh, build up enough wealth as where you can get out of the business and uh, purchase a legitimate business. Okay, so you don't have to always be looking over your shoulder and you know live in this lifestyle. You know, but the problem is, is that when we sell drugs, uh, unless you're on the payroll and you're a gang stalker person or you're part of these huge motorcycle gang organizations that are part of the higher level of distribution and the basically they're on the payroll, of course. So any gang stalker person works with the police. They, so they're part of the police, you know? So, uh, that's why these people are allowed to, to continue to sell drugs and not go ever go to prison. The only way they go to prison is because they're, unless they're dictated to go to prison by their superiors to facilitate a news story or to what, for whatever reason, okay. Whatever kind of plot and agenda they're pursuing at the moment. All right. So if you are involved with bringing large quantities of drugs into the country, Let's focus on heroin, okay? If you're involved with bringing heroin into the country, okay, what, it's not a country, corporation, whatever, colony. What is it? What is heroin? Well, it's an organic substance, okay? Why do people get addicted to heroin? Because it's not because of the heroin, it's because how it's manufactured and the cut that's put in it, that's what makes you sick. It's not the heroin, okay? Yes, after a long period of time, you will become physically addicted to heroin. But if you don't believe me, and you believe I'm a coconut, then go talk to any Vietnam veteran that was in Vietnam and started shooting dope and was over there or sniffing dope, whatever they're doing, smoking it. And uh, you ask them, said, uh, how long, when you were in Vietnam and you were doing pure heroin, how long did it take you to become addicted to it, physically addicted to it? You know what they're going to tell you? Oh, shit. We did dope for months and months and months before we got sick. What is the reason for this? Because it's not the dope that makes you sick. It's the cut that's in it, how it's manufactured. All right? So that's it. Get that straight. So you're bringing, if you're bringing large quantities of heroin into the country, into the whatever, corporation, uh, what is it? It's an organic substance. So basically, you're a farmer. The military is over there guarding the poppy fields, went over, wiped out all the, everybody, and took over the poppy fields. And now they're over there guarding the poppy fields and they're bringing the heroin into the country. Okay, it's not a fucking secret. Okay, everybody knows this. So, <clears throat> should be easy for you to stop it. You know, should be somewhat easy. Now, this is the problem. The problem is, you're not just going to stop the drugs and then leave all these people who are involved in this whole organization and network to just wither away, okay? You're the one who, you're the ones who are bringing the dope into the country. You're the ones who are making the big money, okay? So that means that you're responsible to, the, okay, the person goes to you and says, well, I want to buy four bricks. Well, okay, now, if you're not going to be able to supply this person with the four bricks every month or whatever, or every week, uh, then you have to supply them with some other way for them, these people to survive, okay? You have to supply them with w some kind of work and a living wage, okay? Never mind your illusions, okay? This is uh, real uh, life I'm talking about here, okay? You're not just going to leave these people to just languish without any kind of income, Okay? So you're a fucking farmer, what you are, basically. Whether you're growing corn or you're growing opium poppies and you're importing the corn from one side, the, from here to there, or you're importing opium from here to there, you're still a fucking farmer involved in the distribution of an uh, agricultural uh, product. Okay, let's move on. Now, any good leader does not just piss and moan and cry about the problem. He offers solutions and answers to the problem, all right? So this is the solution. What you're going to do. Where are you going to get the product to, so everyone doesn't just languish away, all right? What are you going to do? Well, we know that the, the extraterrestrial virus, the entity that is involved in the destruction of mankind, 
It has destruct the consumed many civilizations. It's millions and millions of linear years old, whatever. Even though there's no such thing as time, but to speak in third density terms, this virus came from wherever. It's been around a long, long time. All right. So during the ancient galactic war, it's found its way into this program, and now it's doing everything to cause separation and. That's why all these people do all these horrible things because they're infested with the virus. Where's the virus? The virus resides in the oil reserves, okay? When you drive down your street car down the street, you're releasing the virus into the air, okay? Any product that is made with a petroleum product contains the virus, which is just about every product you see, every product we use. So what do we have to do? Well, you got to cap all the oil wells and no longer use any oil or anything has to do with oil. And you have to destroy all products that contain the virus. All products that contain petroleum contain the virus. All right. So now what? Well, we know that the dollar is tied to oil production. So essentially, the dollar is tied to a fucking virus. Okay, that's what it's tied to, a virus. The dollar is tied to the destruction of mankind, okay? So what's the alternative? Well, there's plenty of alternatives. You don't have to use oil. There's cottonseed oil, there's soybean oil, and there's hemp oil, okay? That's three products. You're farmers. So now, instead of growing opium poppies, you know what you're gonna grow? You're gonna grow soybeans, you're gonna grow cotton, and you're gonna grow hemp, all right? Then you're gonna make oil from all these products, and this oil can be used to also power cars and vehicles and anything of any kind of engine there is, okay? Let's make sure this thing's still going. Okay, it's still going. Do you understand? You're farmers. So be fucking farmers, but grow something that's going to be productive and not destroy us. Hello, come on back, Jamaica. You hear me, Donald Trump? You're going to be president. So let's get shit, our shit in order here. Let's get things together and get rid of this virus. If we can get rid of the virus, then the people start to think clearly, okay? I can't speak to the people out here. You know why I can't have a conversation with the people? Because as soon as I start speaking to the people, they're so infested with the virus that after I talk to them for a few minutes, you know what happens? A wall comes, and it's like I'm not even there anymore because the virus shuts them down, okay? Why do people run away from me? Why do people look at me and, and their face turns white and their eyes get wide and they fucking freak out? Why are they so terrified of me? Because they're inhabited with the virus. Everybody's inhabited with the virus. Zombie apocalypse. Okay, that's when the virus totally consumes the people. It's already happening. You want to stop a zombie apocalypse? Then this is what you have to do. So, what you're going to do? Well, until you can... Okay, anybody who owns a soybean field or a cotton field or a hemp or you have no hemp fields because you fucking outlawed it, whatever. But you can, now you can start growing this shit because Donald Trump, you're the president, so you can legalize it. All right. Anytime you do cocaine, anytime you do drugs or drink alcohol, you're creating an energy which feeds the grid that imprisons us. Okay, marijuana does not do that. And a matter of fact, marijuana actually diminishes the effects of the, of the towers of Babylon that surround you, that turn you into zombies and do all kinds of horrible shit to you. Okay, so it diminishes the effect of the towers, marijuana. Plus, it's good for so many things. And instead of uh, letting the pharmaceutical industry run the world and feed us fucking poison, Legalize marijuana and, and you'll make a lot of people happy except for the disgusting, filthy pharmaceutical filth. Okay, never mind those fucking people. Hope they all fucking drop dead. They're part of the fucking hybrid coalition to destroy us. Okay, churches, hospitals, schools, pharmaceutical industry, dentist industry, anything like that is, is to kill you, exploit you, destroy you. Okay, there you go. Now, 
until the time period comes when soybean production and oil, uh, cotton production and hemp production can begin to uh, take over the take replace oil production. And you're going to tie the dollar to this production, not no longer oil production. You want to make a new currency? Well, tie it to cotton seed, soybean, and hemp production. And there you go. Now you got a dollar that's worth something. All right. And what's going to happen is the whole world is going to see what we're doing and you're going to do the same thing. All right. And then you'll know, be one of the leading currencies still. I believe, you know, I believe for the time being, yen may be our best choice, but we can refer back to the dollar if the world doesn't come to an end, which is probably going to anyways. All right. There you go. I'm going to leave it at that. That's Avenue of Redemption. Now, if you do this, the cartels will be redeemed because the cartels can play a role. All the distributors will be redeemed, like the Hells Angels, if they're involved with this, or bike gangs. All these people, gang stalker people too, will be redeemed. The lower level street dealers will be redeemed. You know, all these people you're going to bring over the correct side of righteousness. All these people you're going to redeem at the same time. All right? Now, there's no such thing as a criminal, okay? There's only transgress. There's no such thing as a crime. It's only transgressions against humanity, and there's nothing else. Crime is just a word that's created to make money. That's all it is, okay? Okay, by outlawing drugs and arresting people for drug dealing or drug whatever, possession, okay, the police get a paycheck. The prison guards get a paycheck. And the people that own the prisons get a paycheck. Okay, that's the, that's the reason for drugs bringing into the country right there. Okay, and to destroy the people and to create energy to, to feed your own imprisonment. Okay, that's what you're doing. Hello. Okay, I'm going to let it go at that. That's first avenue of redemption. I got other avenues to lay before you. But you got to do the footwork, man. You got to meet me halfway. You want to change things for the better, Donald Trump? Well, here you go. You want to set a good example for the rest of the world? Well, here you go. You want to bring people over the correct side of righteous? Here you go. You want to reduce the prison population? Here you go. Okay, it's a win-win situation all the way around. All right? There you go. I'm going to let you go. Bye.